welcome back to the english class my dear students today i'm coming here with the second part with the remaining part of the story that we did last time no time for fear last ki class da koina no time for fear he ba lesson dogi saru khrnai na ramadogi makha mu satha si kongang sa a koina khangi bada melcom na thang thilore in our last class we found that melcom had just melcom attack the grizzly the mother grizzly in order to save barf bap kanabani ko bap kanabagi damakta my girlfriend barbara ji kanabagi damakta mana attack tarure sawom duda aduga sawom duna mana thang na taroga maksam dul thillu bodo mana maksam thang thillu bodida sawom dun lai thorak pada makut chu tekre thang su pai thokre he attack the grizzly with his knife with his hunting hunting knife and he slashed the neck of the grizzly but with a deafening roar the mother bear the mother grizzly moved her head backward in a very sudden way very quickly and that quick that sudden head motion sent melcom's knife flying and broke his wrist thang pai thon re melcom ima ko tek re ko now the snarling grizzly turned towards melcom sawom do bar phun to amaga bap si am sa tin sok pani ko bap was seriously injured the grizzly was you see biting her neck with her teeth maya ro sawom do chik pani maya do na bap ki mak samdo makhoi do chik tat pani ba mak samdo adu ji ma kanna na phona ba da melkom na thang thilo re now forgetting barbara the grizzly started attacking melkom she grabbed him with both paws and squeezed him against her chest the smell of blood and the bear nauseated him the grizzly swatted at him with a huge claws the first blow took off his hair in one piece like a wick most of his scalp going with it then he was rolling over clutched by the bear the dizzying motion stopped when they reached the gully bottom the bear racked his pes repeatedly as the bent as she bent to rip into his neck and the soldier with her teeth malcolm freely jabbed with his fist at a sensitive nose his zaps had no effect now let's read it once again now the, the now the snarling grizzly turned towards malcolm snarling means making an aggressive growl with bare teeth maya kiket laga sauna lady ba grizzly dna turned towards malcolm now the bear the grizzly turned towards malcolm she grabbed him with both paws she just squeezed him she took him firmly with her paws and squeezed him squeezed means crushed him against her chest she tightly held him against her chest by selga mathaba ta konjan mane ba ko the smell of blood and the bear nauseated him sawong gi manam dune adagi e gi manam dune it made him nauseated means to make him feel sick just vomiting to toning e ma se uning me ore ba ko the grizzly swatted at him with her huge claws the grizzly swatted means slapped attacked him with huge claws magi huge claws na mana malcolm the attacker me the first blow took off his hair in one piece like a wick amuk tang tha ba the first blow da mutang tha ba da ge do ge bu malcolm ja masam ja unza ja makok unza ja phak hi wan like a wick wick the a covering on the head made of uh, real or artificial hair aha pasam asemba sam darga kok ta kup na ba covering for the head made up real or artificial hair aha pasam lo thopo da maina mel kong e masam je pla phak ki wan moda bis scalp going with it scalp means skin and hair together removed then he was rolling over then he was you see falling and rolling over clutched by the bear bear the chela kola mo ni ta da under e the dizzying motion stopped when they reached the gully bottom so when they reached the gully bottom was ki creek gully do ichel macha ma kak tani ko adamoi ni je ondha min rak podna ichel do gi koi tutorial macha do gi keno de ka da makha da ka da moi ni thar thar ondha rak podna lepe the bear racked his face repeatedly racked means attacked dug with her claws khujin na khot pani ma mai da ac bent to rip into his neck and shoulder with a teeth mana mareng jum ga manga ka da ya na chikhai ge na rip means tear as the grizzly bent to tear apart the neck and the shoulder of melcom with her teeth 
Melcom gi mark samga akoi gi magi lengjum ga jeta man chikhai regen ondar ka ndar Melcom freely jabbed him jabbed her with his fist at the sensitive nose magi sensitive nose da ko man kin thin mane ko jab means strike with quick blows or punched at the nose of the grizzly with his fist but his jabs had no effect his punches his blows did not serve any purpose by this time Malcolm closed his eyes it's over he thought and he stopped struggling incredibly almost as soon as he stopped moving the grizzly let go she swatted him once more then scraped dirt and the twigs over them and the lumbered away Malcolm closed his eyes sawum duga maga thro thro on the minara ga makha ra tar ka sa sawum sin ma mai ra han jan jan khot pa amuk tha ba da masam maru pulap ko gi unsa ka ga phakhi ba ad malcom mamit isa lozi he thought it's over and he stopped struggling he did not struggle anymore he thought that okay i'm done for ai loi re kal ga ba se ma gi kana to se kan na bo na ba se lepsa re ba ko he did not fight anymore but incredibly unbelievably almost as soon as he stopped moving mana struggle to well lep ga bana leng bo pe lep ga ko the grizzly let him go the grizzly released him thado pe ra pone it's generally heard that bears don't attack a dead man asi ba mi da mo attack ta de hai ko so thinking that malcolm was dead the grizzly released him but she swatted him once more am tam thar mi ko mana swatted means she just slapped him once more and then scraped dirt and the twigs over them and then finally he threw dirt she threw dirt khumjal ko langjal upul ko salame and twigs usakar ko salame over them and the lumber away she moved in a heavy noisy way ma je kuki chat kre ba ko mel ko mamit u sale ma khale ai loi re ma ma khata na khona dre thaja da ba mong da ma na khona ba ma na struggle to wel lep ga grizzly dinu ma ba thado ame thado tri da utang ni thajal la me ma mai dira adai uphul khochal la me adai ki twigs branches ka langjal la me and she went away she moved away in a noisy way ma lord kho chakre ma sum at first malcolm was not sure that he was a, he was even alive he was lying half in and half out of the creek he felt no pain except a throbbing in his wrist slowly he wriggled out of the creek in a cold weakly baf are you okay at first when the grizzly had gone away sawum the chat crack or bear the chat crack and malcolm was not sure whether he was alive or not ma ze khang ze de ai wo hing ni ra si ra ma khang de he was lying there half in and half out of the creek ma sa tang khai ma na turel ma cha de ki khong de le tang khai ma na ma thak de le ri he felt no pain chai na am da phau de except a throbbing throbbing means a beating in his wrist throbbing is a beating of the heart or pulse in his wrist makut to the akoi mai gi right hand da kari no ma di akoi gi dang 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 hun ba mi hul la ma de feel da way slowly he wriggle out wriggle means move away soft twisting movements tap na tap na like to move away with soft and the twisting movements wa na like ma ze how to the creek to del to the gi ma tap na ka khali and the cold weakly tap na ka re baf are you okay baf nang ka shuto da bra hangai ko baf afraid the grizzly was still around didn't answer she crawled to the edge of the gully and saw a bloody clump of hair then she saw malcolm half buried his face had been split with a wicked slash and the, the right side of it was peeled back to reveal the muscle and sinew and a nearly severed eye she shouted malcolm hold on i'm going for help tossing her coat to him she started running towards the lodge Malcolm hang pani ba ko baf are you okay baf nang kshto de ko har kan da baf ti afraid that the grizzly was still around grizzly to le reng ani khal ga ma de si de not notice si de not know that the grizzly had gone away grizzly to chat kre sa hom de chat kre de ma de khang de ba ko le reng ani khal ga ma khumak tre ba she crawled to the edge of the gully and saw a bloody clump of hair she crawled means she moved forward on hands and knees by dragging the body close to the ground crawl di koi shay mai telon hagdi san char chat pahai da ko to move forward on the hands and the knees khong ga khu ga tar ga khut ga khu ga tar chat pa do chat le to the edge of the gali gali ma pan tam nang sai gi ising chender e ba chel ba cha de gi ma pan tam chat le and so a bloody clump of hair u re mana 
Clum means a compact mass of or lump of something. What matumum have in A bloody clump of hair. Some jabulum ure eater. She then saw Malcolm, my Malcolm ure. Half buried. Malcolm's body was half buried in the creek. Masada tankhaya madi turiya lugi manung daleri. Aduga, his face has been split with a wicked slash. Masagi sahom dana, yam tapti na khotak lambu dana maramu dana, mamayi di segaire. His face was torn apart. And the right side of it was peeled back to rebuild the muscle and sinew. Right side to the makuku ego. The right side of it was peeled back to reveal the peel back means the covering was removed to rebuild the muscle and sinew. Sinew means the cord joining muscles to the bone. Saru gana kaino ga tainer muscle ga tainer saruk to adu u na ba makok to lerame mamai to prasegai lerame and nearly a severed eye mamit nam song to meko. Severed means having cut off or sliced off. Nearly a severed eye mamit nam prakogai rame segai rame mamai to segai ga lerame manungi saru to ure. Si saute ne pitra harame. Malcolm, hold on. Malcolm, just stay there where you are. And I'm going for help. I meek or go camel come and some later. I'm tossing her coat to him. Mong the coat lang salami. And she started running towards the lodge. She went towards the lodge where she could find some help. Me go none about my thing. None about my chain. You're going. Malcolm lay still for a while, trying to take stock of his injuries. His wrist would not move and it must be broken. One knee calf had been torn off and he could not feel any front teeth with his tongue. He could partially see out of his one eye, but was afraid to turn his head because he saw loose facial skin hanging down. He felt no revulsion, just an aching hope that it had not happened, that it was all a nightmare. Barf went away, saying that she would seek help. Now, Malcolm lay still there for a while. Malcolm lay in the tali. Trying to take stock of his injuries. Trying to take stock means trying to review, trying to make an estimate of his injuries. He was trying to find out how seriously he was injured. Now, as he remembered, his wrist would not move and it must be broken. One of his wrist, Makutnam, the Lengdre, the Emanikangamana. One kneecap had been torn up. Kneecap, kneecap means the convex board in front of the knee joint. A quick kugis, the matakta joint to the matakta leriba, a quick convex bone to Nebgo. Ku kangin gavado. Ama yarumdre. And he could not feel any front teeth with his tongue. When he searched his front teeth with the help of his tongue, he could not find any. Mana Marie in the Sumiang with the Yamang the Aramdre. He could partially see out of one eye. Mamit Namadi, one eye has been severed. Mamit Namadi chong to crab on the right side to go. One could, one eye could see partially. Kitan kitan di uri. But he was afraid to turn his head because he saw loose facial skin hanging down. He could not turn his head. Mamai le toko dingam dre man. Because with his one eye, good eye, he could see loose facial skin hanging down. He felt no revulsion. He did not feel any kind of disgust. But just an aching hope. Just a sad hope that it had not happened. Oh, it was not a reality. That it was all a nightmare. Nightmare, a terrible and a frightening experience. He was so seriously injured, mortally injured. One wrist was not functioning, it must be broken. A kneecap had been torn off. There was no front teeth on his, you see, teeth ridge. He could see with one eye, the other eye was almost severed. His face was torn and the, the loose facial skin was hanging down. Sometimes, when I'm in unwanted situation, no face to work on the embarrassing situation, very sad, tragic situation, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Malcolm just hoped that, oh, it did not hope. He only hoped that it should not have happened. 
and he only wished it were a nightmare. Nightmare or maybe pony that go kalle. Now, sporting his haversack up towards the trail, he determined to reach it and use it as a bandage. Tediously, he dragged himself up backward. His one good eye kept sticking shut, and periodically he would have to stop and open it with his good hand. Finally, he reached the haversack and lay back, physically drained from the exertion. He prayed and wondered whether he would live and what he would look like even if he did. Now, spotting his haversack, haversack is a canvas bag of carrying food, clothes, etc. Now he determined to reach it and use it as a bandage. So tediously, means slowly in a tired way, wana tapna tapna. He dragged himself up backward. He dragged himself up. In a very tired way, his one good eye kept sticking shut. Kept sticking shut means one eye was almost functionless. It was almost removed from the socket. But one good eye was there. But this eye was also, you see, shut, sticking, stuck by the blood. And periodically, he would, from time to time, he would have to stop. He stopped moving and opened it with his good hand. Finally, he reached the haversack. Ultimately, after a tired, after a very serious struggle, after a hard struggle, he could reach the haversack and he lay there, physically drained. Drainments physically, you see, he was very weak. He lost all his strength from the exertion, from the physical activity, from trying to reach there to his haversack. Haversack, he lay there. And then he lay there on his back. He prayed and wondered. Now he prayed to God and he wondered whether he would live. Oh God, am I going to live like this? He wondered what would he look like if he did. Even if he lived, he would live. Meanwhile, bathed, her arms slashed and her hair flecked with blood. He ran along the winding trail to the lodge. Stazing into the lobby, she cried, A grizzly god Mal Malcolm, a grizzly god Malcolm, he can't walk, help, help. And then she burst into sobs. People appeared from nowhere, wardens, fellow workers, lodge guests. When Malcolm was lying there near his haversack, Malcolm was lying there with his haversack, Bob went there to the lodge. My lodge, the chengre. Her arm was slashed, her arm was also torn. And her hair flecked with blood. Because her neck has been wounded. Flecked means spotted with blood. And she ran along the winding trail. Winding means following a twisting and a spiral course. Stazing into the lobby. Lobby is the entrance hall. When she reached the entrance hall, she cried, A grizzly got Malcolm. Malcolm do, Malcolm do grizzly, I'm going to take away. He can't walk. Malcolm can't walk. Please help us. And she burst into sobs. She started crying loudly. People appeared from nowhere. So people came out from all sides. Wardens came out. Fellow workers came out. Lowe's guests came out. Everybody came out. Now, they were coming to rescue Malcolm. Malcolm rescued Honorable Icon. The first that Malcolm heard of his rescuers was the static of a walkie-talkie. He had sat propped against a stump for an hour and a half and was still conscious. Warden Godi Peto, Malcolm's good friend, ran to him. Well, pal, he said, I will always end up looking after you. How are you doing, man? Now, it took Bob and the, the rescuing team about half an hour for, for an hour and a half to reach back to Malcolm. Bob na chat kira mi kira lak pa si punga ma makhaya mong chang ebako. Moi lak pa si Malcolm na kamay khangi. The first that Malcolm heard of his rescuers, ma bo rescue to bo mi lai si Malcolm na kamay khangi wa was the static of a walkie-talkie. 
Walkie talkie is static sound. Walkie talkie is a portable radio set that can receive or send messages. When switched on, sometimes it produces a kind of cracking sound due to the disturbance in the atmosphere. Pau receive to naba, pau thana naba radio set naba kag naba kumbu pai kacap paya ba. Adu man man switch on it tawkan kag naba tamda cracking sound naba krak 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 alau mo kolam ta naba because of the disturbance in the atmosphere. Atmosphere ke disturbance naba mo kag naba. Adu gi that cracking sound is called static kawe ba ko. So the first sound that Malcolm hear from his rescuers was the static of a walkie talkie. He had sat propped against a stump. He was sitting and uh, he was propped against, means he was leaning against Ngathara Lebani against a stump. Stump is a upambi yata krakanda leho ba makhok isarok tu niko. The bottom part of a tree left projecting from the ground after most of the trunk has fallen or has been cut down. Kakta krakanda lehi ba, upambi ma kakta krakanda lehi ba, akwe gi ugi makhong thang ba sarok lehmo ribu sarok tu ba niko. Stump, so here is the stump ko. Stump is a Now, Malcolm was sitting there and he was leaning against a stump for an hour and a half and was still conscious. He did not lose his senses. Magyan, mang de bako. Magi good friend, magi lose gi warden naba Gordy Peto zina. Manakta chenza le du hai, well pal, well my dear friend, I will always end up looking after you. Bye nang zidi ba, pun si zi nang dhing nang chena ba da loi duri ay zidi. I will always end up looking after you. Ay di nang da thile re dana bai. How are you doing man? Kam do rige nang bo. Pal is colloquial word of friend. And Malcolm replies, I'm okay, but I'm kind of hungry. Malcolm replied gamely, guess I get it. I really, guess I really did it this time, Gordy. I think my dish is broken. Gordy sucked in his breath. He saw a bloodless white head. The bear's swipe had cleanly lifted off the scalp and the blood vessels, exposing a layer of tissue next to the skull. Mana, who's a Malcolm na, Gordy peto na ba. How are you doing, man? And hang with Kume, Malcolm. I'm okay, I'm fine. But the kind of hungry, I'm feeling kind of a little bit of hungry. Just Malcolm replied, gamely. Gamely means bravely. Thauna panna ko. Kume, bye. Chak, tang di lam hai. Kasum tau de da. Katan hari. Guess I really did it this time. I think it is really serious this time. I really did it this time. Means this time, Gordi. I'm in a serious condition. I think my wrist is broken. Kuchiti emale ne mai. Muru kuchiti emale ne. Masaktu ubuda. When Gordi Peto saw Malcolm Uganda, he sucked in his breath. So from the lip become as a sore thing he must. Sucked in means he drew up his breath. He saw a bloodless white head. Eat hang drabang orong ubu ko um uib kung brah. Because how's it ki so um na thabad masam gyaon unza gyaon plapagdat krab ne ba. So the head was bloodless. And uh, the bear's swipe had cleanly lifted off the scalp and the blood vessel, exposing a layer of tissue next to the skull. So, the skull was thing the skull was tissue to the skull. So, the skull was taken aback. He sucked in his breath. He stopped breathing. Ned Clough. Ned Clough. A first aid attendant wrapped Malcolm's face and the chewed gases on his legs in gauze and strapped him in a stretcher. They radioed for a rescue helicopter to pick him up in a clearing down the trail and take him to Queen Victoria Hospital at Revelstock. Surgery began with seven hour emergency operation. The surgeon had put in more than 1,000 stitches. Restoring Malcolm's face was like putting a jigsaw puzzle together, one attending doctor later said. Ned Clough is a first aid attendant. First aid, Pinanaba, Mogi Lozur, Leva, first aid attendant. Ned Clough, Sina, man wrapped means he covered Malcolm's face, Malcolm Gimamai de Kupsile, and the chewed gases, chewed, the Saidoki, Begabinico, chewed gases, long deep wounds caused by the bites of the grizzly. Grizzly na bite taro magi lehori ba lehori ba long deep wounds aso pumu pumzing da kupsil le and the legs makong le bisan nikomre the chewed gases on his legs in gauze gauze is a kind of bandage do nikom thin net like material used for bandages aso pumu yesan na magi damto lehori ba akoy ki bandage sing do na mamai dusu yesan bira kong do lehori ba aso pumu yesan bira and strapped him and he was fastened. 
He was fastened in a stretcher. Stretcher amada phazana maze hipalle leng denaba kisale. They radioed for a rescue helicopter to pick him up in a clearing. Helicopter ama they radioed. They called the helicopter to pick up Malcolm from a clearing down the trail, from a clear space along the along the route. Lambi drule ramba kitan ohang baza amada ki lobi drule on kaure and. Take him to Queen Victoria's Hospital in Revelstoke. Canada ki big city Revelstoke the liba Queen Victoria's Hospital the maaz pure. Surgery began with a seven-hour emergency operation. Almost when he reached the hospital there, a seven-hour emergency operation was started. Emergency operation nama hawre pung taret ki. The surgeon put in more than ten thousand, ten more than one thousand stitches. Doctor aduna stitch ekhu ki kanoni ekhu ki. 1,000 stitches. Makul li singa men poor ini. Malcolm's face, restoring Malcolm's face was like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. One attending doctor later said. Doctor Raman hai abako. Malcolm ki mamai du semjan bazi di jigsaw puzzle lama akko ki solve tong na ba jigsaw puzzle lama chum na thum na ba khot na ba ka manai. Jigsaw puzzle is a puzzle consisting of a picture printed on a cardboard or wood and cut into various pieces of different shapes that have to be fitted together. Tonga tonga pitch me amma ko cardboard tegi na traga udagi same ma kanda ko gi mong ta adana thana ma kanda ma dunia om chum na thana na ba ko na ba adu ka mani he ba means a very confusing and a complicated problem oye na me ba restoring Malcolm's face was not a simple task it was a very complicated and a very very confusing thing one attending doctor later said it was just like putting a jigsaw puzzle together Malcolm was then moved to a hospital in his hometown Edmonton. He remembers little of the first weeks. He was under heavy sedation and his mind wandered endlessly, drifting between dreams and a semi-consciousness. He underwent 41 skin graft operations. Now, after restoring his face, after having performed an emergency operation, Malcolm was later taken to a hospital in his hometown in Edmonton. Revel Stokey Hospital, the first operation to Arabic Matunga. Next, he was taken to his hometown in Edmonton. Edmonton, his hometown, my hometown, the poor. He remembers little of the first few weeks. Han begi weeks in the Makai Toki were coming there because he was under heavy sedation. Sedation is a deep sleep caused by certain drugs to calm the nerves. Massage, pain, killer, nico, capsule, nico. Heavy said this in the labor in a massive carry talk of going in there and his mind wandered endlessly. His mind was she moving endlessly, drifting between dreams and a semi consciousness. Drifting means moving endlessly. His mind was wandering endlessly between dreams and a semi consciousness. Tumboy, mungway, hawaii, heavy said this in the painkillers. I'm capsule the labor in a book on massive carry talk of no kung day. What I'm doing. He underwent 41 skin graft operations. 41 times the command skin graft operations. Skin graft means a process in which doctors take up skin from one part of the body and they put it on another part which has been damaged. So, kiba part amagi akwagi menkat nabugi damakta semkat nabugi damakta atopa part amadagi skin lauraga akwagi semzin sazumagi tabuk tabudu skin graft operations ko. Adugi skin graft operations are 41 times the way of us. Now, in time, Life began to look up. Doctors assured Malcolm that he would soon look fine after the crops were finished and the rolls of gauze came off. But one day, close to Christmas, when the nurse was changing his bandages and was called away momentarily, Malcolm aged over to the bathroom mirror for the first look at himself. It almost made him sick. The doctors had tried to repair the damage by constructing a nose from arm muscle and by grafting skin from his leg across the face. He had no hair. And the thick scars and the thick scars crisscrossed one side of his face. The skin was still puffy and an ugly shiny red. In time, rebels took them lying with Edmund and Dumpure. Slowly, slowly life began to look up. Slowly his mood, he started getting better. The doctors assured Malcolm that he would soon look fine. Doctors in the high Malcolm that Kashum Tore Kunang Zen. After the grafts were finished, skin grafting, 
Kriegi operation the lower matung and the rolls of gauze came off and the bandage removed. Grafting skin grafting operations the lower matung aduga bandage in the lower matung you will look fine nothing will happen to you however. But one day close to Christmas one day it was Christmas time October the Tokyo Nico Christmas ki matamaduida. When the nurse was changing his bandages and was called away momentarily, the nurse was removing bandages, his bandages, nursing in a nurse in a magi bandage look to neighbor. But the nurse was momentarily called out by somebody, Kananum na Kotoropa, the nurse to talk him a neighbor. Nurse in a magi bandage look to me, other nurse to talk a candidate. Malcolm edged over to the bathroom mirror. Malcolm edged means he moved slowly over to the bathroom mirror, bathroom giving himself some over neighbor. For the first look at himself, Masakum to Yang again. It almost made him sick. It made him feel very, you see, unhappy. But I don't know why he was sick. The first time, so cramped, but when he was sick, he was not able to move. He was very pained. He was very pained. Ma, where was the doctor? They tried to repair the damage by constructing nose from arm muscle. He noticed that there was no nose in his face. Ma, my own face. Ma, ma, not on your own there. The doctors were trying to reconstruct a nose by our muscles, our body muscles, look to our kind of manatonum same kind of bond there me, and by grafting skin from his leg across his face. Aduga, because the mamai gi unsa sin do na makong the gi lower the same kind of bond there me. Ure maze, and he had no hair. Masam the arundre, thick scars crisscrossed. Crisscross means lines were crossing each other. The mamai zi the mai 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 because the amaga amaga yung ni yung na pay na pay ni yasan there the scar me amre me dark me ama. On one side of the face, mama idema. The skin was still puffy, still was skin swollen. The skin was the skin was still swollen. Magi unshadum adum ako gi hosig sa pawmal ay mi pawtuaga. And an ugly sign it. Adum mama idema sa tina ng sa ngangal ay mi. So seeing the face for the first time in his for the first time after the injury, Malcolm was quite you say shocked. He did not want to see his. He did. He did not want to see. He did not want to see his own face. It made him sick. What did he see? He saw that the doctors were trying to repair the damage of his nose with muscles from his arm, and there were you see crisscrossed scars on his face, right side of the face. The skin was still puffy, and it was ugly, with a shining red color. He was quite repulsed. He was he was quite shocked. It made him so depressed. I'm not going to come as a masak to Orokanda. He could leave. He would hinge after the grizzly attack. But now he was so sorry to see himself. Masak to Orokanda. What are you going to do? Three months. Okay. Let's see this. What about Orosi? Let's do it after. Let's do it up to here for today. Let's stop here and the next. See you next class. And see you in the next class. Okay, I think you enjoyed the lesson.